Shalom, Shalom. All right, we got the Hebrew Israelites prophesying day in and day out. This is wicked kingdom, Babylon the Great. I right, first and foremost, while facing the east, we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash. Give honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. No honors. Khan, Khan, and rule well. Salutations to you, hopeful elect. Akim all across the four corners of the earth. We're pushing this word in sincerity and in faith. May Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash, have mercy upon you and your households. Okay, so we're just going to start it off from the top. Uh, Isaiah uh, chapter 62 and uh, verse uh, verse 1. You wanted me to read and you, and you break it down. I'll go ahead. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the righteous therefore go forth in brightness and the salvation thereof a lamp that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see the righteousness, and all kings thy glory. And thy shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Thy shall also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal deemed in the hand, hand of thy God. Thy shall no more be timid, timid, forsaken, yeah, turn, turn found, forsaken, neither shall thy land any more be turmoil, desolate, but thy shall be called Hepsi <laughs> by and thy land, Eula. For the land delighted in thee, and they, yeah, for the Lord delighted in thee, and thy land shall be married. How, how is the land going to be uh, married? The northern kingdom and the southern kingdom are going to come uh, together. So going up to uh, three, thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem. In the hand of thy power so you're gonna have the heavenly father you're gonna have his son you're gonna have king david you're gonna have the children of israel that's going to be uh the, that's going to basically be the staff that's going to get uh, uh the world in order so to speak we have been that time now right now we're in the time in which we're here we're reading the words right and in them, in them times it's going to be within us. So it's, it's not going to, we're not going to need to be carrying around uh, the scriptures. Now I'm just speaking as a man, but obviously in the kingdom, right, we're we going to have a book. We're going to read the law, right? Uh -huh. You know what I mean? It's not like, like this book is going to get done away with, but we're going to be uh, perfect. And that's how we're going to have that uh, that name, right? Because we are, we are the princes right, of the living power. Of, of, of the universe, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. He runs everything. So if he's given us that, if he's given us that name, right? He's qualified us. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You see that? <laughs> it ain't out here. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> I'll, I'll continue on. It is real. Isaiah yeah. chapter sixty-two and verse five. It says, "For as a young man marrieth a virgin." So shall thy sons marry thee, and as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy power rejoice over thee. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. So keep pushing out videos. Keep pushing out them videos. Do not stop. Until we are taken off of the highways of power, that's when we're going to stop. That's when they're going to take away the internet and whatnot. We, we almost have been the time. Exactly. You say, brother? It, 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 exactly like the brother said. When, you, when, you, when they take away, you don't want to be like, dang, I could have did this, I could have did that and stuff. When you have a perfect time right here now to show, you know, the obedience and the instructions given from the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's a beautiful thing to confess his name. That's a beautiful thing to be out here on the street corners and the highways and byways confessing him. 
Then the him know that, 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 hey, we, 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 we gonna make mistakes. We not gonna be perfect. But we gonna do it to the best of our ability and rehearse righteous acts. You know? And, 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 I, and I pray that, that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, keep that spirit on me to keep on doing this and give me the strength and, and motivate me. You know? That's, 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 that's pretty much what I had to say about it, man. The Lord hath sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength. Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies. And the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine for the which thou hast labored. So you got these damn devils, right? They're taking these words and they're twisting them up. They made it to be their corn, their wine, their oil, their living water. When really, they've stolen it, right? And that, that's blasphemy of the Lord, saying, saying that you, you're the children of the Lord. These words are for you, all right? Calling chariots, calling the angels uh, 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 aliens. Yeah, yeah, which, which technically, if we get technical, technically they're correct by that. An alien is a foreigner. Just like you could say an uh, extraterrestrial, something like <coughs> beyond you know, terrestrial life. Technically, you're right. But in the sense of a green, yeah, big-headed dog. Yeah, yeah, the mock. Yeah, you mocking the, you mocking the Lord. And that's why it says that right here. It says, um, the Lord had sworn by his right hand, right? And by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemy. So the Lord has not only promised his, his elect, He's promised who? The angels. They, he's, he's also told the angels, hey, you are going to be, right? You're, we're going to have a subjection over the angels. You are going to be right, right, right up under them. Where everybody's going to be up under the heavenly father, right? Us being, us being in those perfect bodies, okay? We're going to be able to put, uh, uh, in, in fact, through the spirit, we're going to be able to put uh, uh, demons upon the heathen subject them to uh, 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 mental turmoil, right? You damn devils, you're not going to be able to sleep. We're going to put the spirit, the, 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 the spirit of uh, 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 you grinding your teeth at night. You're going to be in holes, right? After, and after that thousand years, you're going to be done away with, man. Right? And guess, who, guess who's going to be helping in that process? Us. Because the angels have their, the angels have their job, right? And the elect have their job. Now, with an angel, of course, you don't have reproductive parts or anything like that. And you're doing exactly what the Lord is saying. There's no back talk with the angel. With us, we're subject to go off. So we are re really, we have a harder task uh, uh, in layman's terms. Us being down here on the earth is a harder task than being an angel. Because an angel is just set up to do what an angel does. He's a messenger. He's set up, he's set up to follow strictly orders. Con, an angel has never not followed an order ever. Ever, including Satan, which through the spirit, uh, if you want to continue speaking on that, I'm going to go to uh, where it speaks on that. Yeah, because it's all, it's like, if, you know, in, 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 in terms to where when you at a job, you got your managers, you got your employees, you got the CEO, you know, and, and, and the most high is like, you know, the, 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 the owner of everything. Yeah, the head if, Yeah, the, 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 you know, and you gotta, you gotta abide by his rules. He can make the rules as he go, decipher how he please. Mm -hmm. Who is us to challenge Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai? It's all about the vision. It's gonna be in the vision, you know, in the kingdom and stuff. And that's a part of the vision that, that he wrote, mm -hmm. you know? Like the elder apostles speak about, you know, in New, in New York City, they like to say, uh, Word, word is bound. So the Heavenly Father is bound by His word. He said, these heathen are going to be up under subjection, up under the children of Israel, right? His word is powerful. His word actually has a meaning. We so used to people lying uh, and, and bullshit in this society, we don't realize that the words of the Heavenly Father, right? Which is, which basically is Yahushua, right? Yahushua comes in the volume of the book. His son is not a liar, right? He's not a liar. His son is not a liar. Therefore, the words are not a lie, man. 
All right, while you look for that, I'll go into uh, the point that I was making. And see, this is the spiritual cutting up of the carrots. All right, the water is at a rolling boil. You're starting to put the carrots in there. This is the spiritual cooking, like the elder apostles speak about. You know? And what you do before you cook, you while you washing your hands. Okay? So before you coming out here, you know, you're praying to the most high Lord. You know, I pray that you protect me. I pray that you're with me. I pray that I'm doing this for the right reason, not to be seen of men, right? Not to be uh, doing this in vain or doing this for my own uh, glory. Because we want to glorify Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. This ain't about us, all right? But um, Job chapter 2 and verse 1. Again, there was a day when the sons of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. So, so did Satan say, you know what? I don't have the time right now. I get back to you. No, Satan presented himself before the Lord. He's subject to the heavenly Father. Okay, it says, and the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. So from the jump, Satan, right? Satan has had a job. Okay, the, hey, the spiritual demon Satan was within that man, that serpent, that went to go speak uh, uh, with Eve. And you know that he came, he came dressed a certain way, all right? You know, the face was probably shaved. Now, they don't say that. They don't say that in the scriptures. We just saying, right, that he came, he came presenting a new idea. The same way that uh, Satan uh, uh, presented himself to you, I was shot, right? Oh, I can give you everything. See, but Yahweh Shai didn't fall for it. He got hit with the same test that, that Adam and Eve got hit with, but what? He passed, showing that there is an elect. Yahweh Shai is the ultimate version of the elect because he, he, he came in the flesh through his parents having sex, and he never went off. He did not sin, not, not one time. He was tempted, all sorts of temptations and different things like that, but he never went off, man. Right? So... We are going to be like unto him. We're going to be uh, basically right up under uh, Yahweh Shai, a step lower than Yahweh Shai, which is what he wants. Which is that's that's exactly what he wants. Okay, even when he was here on the earth, he didn't say, "Everybody, look at me, look at me, I'm the Lord." No, what did he tell his disciples? Right, that you you will become my friends, man. You know, and it reads. Verse 3, And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth Yahweh and that showeth evil? And still he holdeth fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath will he give for his life, which the Lord put the hey the Lord put those words in Satan's mouth. Like when you were a kid, you had uh, two two action figures. You had the evil action figure and you had the good action figure. And you controlling both of them. You making them say certain dialogue. That's the heavenly Father. The heavenly Father is very uh, dramatic. So he caused that to happen. Okay, it says uh, verse six. No, Slaki. Verse uh, 5, it says, But put forth thine hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand, but save his life. So basically, the floodgates was open for, for Satan to do what he wanted. He just couldn't physically kill Job. He couldn't fit, but, but basically, Job... Once you read the passages, he basically wanted to be dead. He wanted to not even be born. That's us. That's exactly. us. And, and see, that's where a lot of y'all get the misconception about what they teaching you up in them, 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 them pagan temples about, oh, 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 the devil and God fought each other. No. He controls all. See, it tells you. It clearly tells you in the book of Job. He made dead. He make alive. He controls all the elements. He pulls right. all the strings. Right, he does so, everything. So you gotta, you know. <laughs> it, 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 
Look at this has a field day. Look at this has a field day, brother. Yes, there is. I know the way. That's all right. Uh, you know, the Spirit just had me to go to uh, the book of Daniel. So this is the book of Daniel, chapter. Was it a little? Oh no, it was seven. Okay, Daniel chapter seven and verse nine. It says, "I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him." Thousand thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened, which that goes into uh, the missiles and the, and the missile warheads. That's part of the Lord's army. Exactly. He's going to put his spirit in them to, to lead them to yeah. destroy Babylon the Great. Right. The, Lord, the Lord is going to be inside of those missiles. That's why, that's why it's no, <laughs> it ain't no denying the Heavenly Father. You can't gainsay nor resist. Okay? So he said that it's not like he's going to send uh, the missiles down to change his mind. No, he's bound by his word. When you tell, you, when you tell your son, I'm going to pick you up in front of this uh, uh, schoolhouse at 3.30. At 3.30. At let's say you don't have a phone. At 3.30, you are expecting your son to be in front of that schoolhouse. Why? Because word is bond. Word is bond. You know? The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is going to do that. Hey, I, I'm not going to tell you the time, but I'm going to come and I'm going to save y'all through my son, who is your husband. You know what I mean? And we, we are the bride, so we wait. We preparing the table, all right? We clean off the curtains, okay? Everything uh, appears clean. No, now it's time to flip the rug up, get up under the rug. And just like at work, if, if you got time to lean, you, you got time to clean. Exactly. You know? Yeah, because it's just like if, if you ain't seen your father in years, and, and you and your wife is at home, and they say they get ready to come over, you're going to try to do everything you can to make sure that it, it's comfortable, it's possible for them and make sure that everything is done, make sure they have the food, make sure they have their towel, make sure they have somewhere to lay, make sure that every, the stuff that they like, make sure that you're doing, you know, that you gotta put that into practice through the spirit, through Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You gotta practice the stuff that, that he loves. You gotta prepare the stuff that he likes. That's right. You know, it's just pretty much making your body a, a, a living sacrifice through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Sorry, what, what's the spirit? What's the spirit of a woman when your parents are about to come over? Oh, uh, that's enough. <laughs> or you don't do that for me. Yeah, oh, that, that that's that's enough. It's the same with this truth. For the women, oh, we good, right? Oh, we, we be all right. We can never do enough. We understand that. That's why it's it's up to the woman to stay home. If you take care of the kids, you do whatever. It's up to the men. You how about Shemar Shai? Hope for a lucky Israel to be out on the highways and byways. Exactly. You know? He didn't send when he sent them out. He sent them out in two by twos and mans. He didn't send them out in twos by women. You know. That's it. And you gotta, you know, you gotta kind of, you gotta kind of follow the spirit with it. You know, and, 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 and pretty much bluntly stay in your place with it. Yep, that's right. Hey, we gotta stay in our place. Exactly. We not doing what the hell we want to do. Yeah. Nah, we gotta get out. You know. I'm getting bit up by ants. That's it. Sinus is acting up, eyes about small. Yeah, people but looking at you crazy. Yeah, people stay here. Yeah. Like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, this 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 looks odd to them, but it's going to look even more odd when those missiles uh, present themselves in the sky, in a rain. It's going, in fact, the spirit, the missiles coming down is going to actually look beautiful. It's going to look beautiful. It's gonna, every, everyone is going to be in, in line. In, in, in a row, it's not like it's gonna be randomly. No, everything's gonna come uh, 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 aligned, you know. 
and you're going to have these different uh, missiles like the Satan 2 or whatnot that are going to physically hit the ground, right? These these missiles that the Lord is speaking about, they're going to detonate right, right before they hit the actual ground. They're going to be detonating right here, right here in the air, right? That's what, that's what causes the maximum damage. It's going to shoot fire and brimstone down just like he did in Sodom and Gomorrah. Exactly. So that's that's where that slow burning, flesh burning heat is gonna come from. If the missiles just came and hit the ground, uh, that's one thing, right? But it's just like when you open up an oven, when that heat, when that heat roll up and it, it, it hits you different than you just opening it and it being right there. When that heat roll up, it, it hits a certain way. And you you gotta you gotta and then you know. Brothers and sisters, that's in this truth, you know, you gotta look at the times right now. You gotta look at it. You know, on what more are we not are we not going off like they was going off in Sodom and Gomorrah? Nah. You know? So the best thing to do is, is is repent. Repent to the Father, confess the Son, and and, and, and pray that He put the Spirit on. Right. That's and that's the Spirit because what the brother spoke about is right here in uh, St. Matthew chapter 20. Four and verse uh, start at 44 therefore be also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the son of man cometh who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season blessed is that servant whom his lord when he cometh shall find so doing will you be Will you will you tell your wife, hey, I need this, I need this house clean when I get back. You come back, you also you see her through the window, you see her getting up and starting to start some dishes. A house a mess. You're gonna be pissed off. Exactly. That's how the Lord is gonna come back exactly. for the two-thirds. Y'all niggas ain't done nothing. Exactly. Uh, you, you give you, you like me as as a as a as a, as a dad, because we only got one heavenly father. It's That's me right. as a dad and a man. I tell my, my children to do certain things and it's not done, they're going to have to face the consequences. That's it. And that's, that's just the bottom line on it. You got to put it in the aspect. If you can't understand that, you can understand that simple language of put it in the aspect of your, your father telling you to do something and you don't do it, what is he going to do? That's it. You know, we are all children. Israel is all children under the Most High. And right. we got to be obedient. We gotta be be diligent with stuff. We gotta ask him to lead, direct, and guide our spirit through, through, through Babylon, you know? Because if not, one of them demons jump, we already got demons chasing us and jumping on us every day. You and know when he says all when he says all people he's speaking about Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indians, Haitians, Central Americans, Cubans, so on and so forth, and you uh and you speckled birds, man. Exactly. Done. I'm glad you cleared that up. Yeah, that way, ain't no mis yeah. dis mis deception of it. Yeah, you know. Oh, well, 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 he said, he said this. He said, yeah, he, he said this. He said that. You know, things get uh, uh, taken out of uh, context. Uh, context too. Um, I believe it's in thirteen. We just, yeah, I just had it. Uh, speaking about all Israel shall be saved. It's escaping me where it's uh where it's at. It's in Romans somewhere. Yeah. Let me see if I can get it real quick on this. That way, you know, whatever we can do to help each other. Right? I'm just gonna go back to Matthew. Going back to St. Matthew. This is St. Matthew chapter 24. And uh, actually, uh, we're going to start. He was right, brother. St. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 32. 
It says, now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors, which is the return of our Lord. It goes into like a thief in the night. You gotta prepare yourself. If See, you knew somebody was getting ready to come and you had you had over you had like I don't know, I'm just thinking as a man saying this, maybe like twenty thousand gold, rimstones, everything right there, what you gonna do? You preparing yourself, you yeah. preparing yourself to go to war. And, it, and, and that's what you got to do when you in this truth. You got to prepare yourself to go to war. That's you it. know, spiritual war. Yeah, it's you a know? spiritual war. This is, this is a, a, a spiritual fight. Exactly. Like certain brothers, I myself, my spirit, my spirit ain't really to play video games. Certain brothers play video games. When you when you only got one man, you got five enemies coming, and you got you got this much damage left till you die. That's when it's time to turn up. But it's time to turn it. That's the point we at. We are at our ultimate. You see, because we're in our physically, we're in our uh, uh, weakest state. Spiritually, we're in our, our strongest state. The men before us, not saying that the men before us were in a strong state, because those those are men mightier than us. But through the spirit, the spirit is flowing more water. We're learning more things. That's why it says in the book of Daniel that knowledge shall go, uh, uh, knowledge shall increase, right? It speaks about that, right? Knowledge shall increase. That's right. You know, so we, you know, we, we, we can't be a, 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 a fragment of what those men were before, like, like John, sleeping in the wilderness. Yet through the Spirit, some brothers are gonna have to do that. Exactly. You know, everybody got their own lot. Like, like this brother and the other brothers from the other camps be saying, they got their own lot. You can't. Like one brother might be doing worse than the other brother, but you can't, you can't, you can't envy what that brother. You don't know what he might be in poor shape. He might be real sick. So the Most High might have put it, you know, put it, put, put it, put it on his heart to be, you know, to be comfortable for a little Con. bit because you know he real, real sick. Con, now you got certain brothers who they may have a lot of baby mama drama, yet their living condition is uh, set straight, such as their grandmother gave him the house so we don't have to worry about paying a mortgage or rent just you know uh, housing taxes yet he got baby mama drama or like the brother said oh no 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 sir no, no, no. you take care all right so uh, anyways uh, uh, and you got certain brothers who hey you know they they they, they down bad right yet they may not have no baby mama drama well, they may have a good job. You know, you down bad, but you got a good job. But let's just say, I don't know, you got to keep paying for, you know, uh, insurance. You got some sort of, you know, you may have got sued before you came into this truth. And you doing down payment. So, exactly. So, uh, yeah. Or you might have to file for, uh, 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 what is it, a uh, bankrupt. Yeah. You know, it's just everybody have their own different lot that they got to go with. You know what I'm saying? Or, or you know. One brother, he might be in the truth. He might have went to Iraq and lost his arm and his leg. God. But he comfortable though, God. and he got a wife that that's a nurse. You God. know, so it's just it's just different strokes from different folks. Everybody got to build their the Most High know how to build your faith. That's it, and that's what he's doing. All that's praise it. to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, who can be greater than him. That's it. Like so, you got you know, the brother, uh, he's one of the leaders out there, one of the uh, uh, leaders of the camp out there in L.A. He was in uh, the Marines. He would go and he would teach on Saturday, uh, and so they they had seen him. He was out on the highways and byways, and so when he got he reported to duty on Monday. They said, "Yeah, uh, we seen you. You either gonna stop doing what you're doing, or your ass is out." What did he do? He said, "Well, kick, kick me the fuck out. Dishonorable discharge, whatever." Now he's the head, and that's a very big camp out there. That's like sixty. Probably about 60 brothers out there in yeah, total. Because you can't even get them all on the video. Yeah, you can't get them all, all in a camera frame. So, hey, the Lord put the spirit on him, right? To persevere. Right? Keep keep pushing. That's what that's what we are here for. Keep yeah. pushing that now. Your man, hey, your manager from your job may see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Best friend from high school may see you. It don't matter. It don't matter. 
be why hey hey through the spirit it's a, a chick i work with it was like hey i seen you out here you know with, what were you doing oh i was uh, reading about my heritage and she let it go she wouldn't she didn't get too much because the lord does that the lord ain't gonna put really the spirit on people that really truly uh, uh investigate now this looks out of place yeah it may do but the thing about it is you deny him in front among men he will deny you in front of the father so you know that's right it is it, is you know it's it's a you lose a lot but you gain so much more that's right. being in this truth right you just got to keep on holding on mm -hmm. and standing fast you All probably, of us have our own, own, own you probably, you probably gonna lose, you probably gonna lose a woman. Yeah, you definitely might as well count that out. She, and, and, and she gonna use the kids as a weapon. And, and, and you, your mom gonna turn against you. Yeah. Your and father gonna turn against you. And it may you. not be in the sense of, oh, 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 nigga, fuck you. It ain't gonna happen like that. They gonna, you gonna get that, you gonna feel it through the spirit. Oh, no, nah. he ain't, he ain't passing the blunt at the cookout. He ain't eating the pork ham hot. Yeah. Yeah, you are now the exile. The exile. You there. You there. You know what yeah. I mean? You know, uh, you know, somebody have a uh, uh, somebody have a uh, Christmas get together, you there. Right? But you not doing the same shit that they doing. Exactly though. No, that that worshiping the idols. Yeah, you're worship. not worshiping the idols. No, it's, it's you a tear. You the tear. No, no, we're going to see it see it family, but don't get too involved in that shit. Exactly. It's a waste it's a waste of time, you know? It, it really is a waste of time. Um, moving on, Matthew chapter 24 and verse uh, 34. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all things be, be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. So when heaven and earth is speaking about Eve's current uh, rulership. Which this, this nigga is set up he has uh, 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 weaponized the Bible against us in the sense that your fam family, uh, uh, you may have certain people in the world that you still know or whatever, they're going to constantly use the scriptures uh, against you. You know what I mean? I was telling my uh, you know, so-called woman or whatever, I was telling her about how it's shameful for a man to have long hair. And she said, well, didn't you? Didn't you used to have long hair? I said, correction, it didn't go down my back. It was, uh, it was up here, but that's yeah. not going off. Technically, if you want to get technical now, you having it, you having the shit down, you know, down your all shoulders. All your body. Yeah, man, your face all shaved up. You come in with the spirit of a woman. Yeah. That's how, that, that, that's how, that, that man, you don't want that, you know? Yeah. And of course, they say, oh, well, I, I thought the men back then, had you know, because they just let their hair grow. I thought they had dreads. Hell no. Where's that description? No, it don't say that description at all. That's a that's a lot of thing. It says my people will perish from a lack of knowledge. Yeah. And and you know that's that's a that's for them Hananites. If they yeah. want to do that, yeah, let the them. Yeah. yeah, the Mammites. If they want to do that, and let them do it. But for right. Israel, no, we we, right. we got statutes and commandments that that's we right. got to follow by. And that you know? really goes back uh, uh, to them. Uh, them, them East Indians dreading, dreading up their hair, man. And that, that shit is, is gross. Now, if she is now, now she don't have dreads, but let's say she decided, fuck that, I'm gonna grow dreads. Hey, that's on you. That's on you. Now, of course, you're gonna naturally treat them different. <laughs> that's just what it is. But, yeah, well, you know what I mean? It says in scriptures how you can be with a non believer, man. And you gonna treat, just like how they treat you different for being in the truth, you gonna treat them different. If they, hey, hey, I'm $40 short on the water bill, you ain't gonna help them out. You know? That's just what it is. Hey, no, forget that. I ain't helping you. You know what I mean? But at the same time, if you do let them hold 40, hey, then you good. You know what I mean? There's certain things that you can do within this truth that's not going on. Yet at the same time, attaching yourself, you know, oh, what, you know, what, what, what can I do to help you right now? You know, you break, you know, Break your cousin off a hundred dollars just for no reason. That's how we was in the world. A lot of brothers would give the shirt off their back when they was in the world. And nigga, niggas, uh, niggas stealing from them. You know, you, you let a brother borrow your shoes, he don't ever give them back. Yeah, give somebody, I remember, to bring me back to where I gave my uh, brother uh, uh, three dollars to get a locker. Three dollars to get a locker. 
and he got to the point where he didn't even want to, you know, give the money back to me. But then, when he did, I seen him with money. I said, well, can I get my money? He handed me a five dollar bill. He was trying to be funny, but but the, the other brother was with me when we was young. He was like, well, he said he said, come on, man, I need my money back. And then the other brother said, well, well he think nah, that was probably interest. How long that's been? Oh yes, that you gave me. You know, you gotta do the right thing. Did it? All right, brother. You know. All right, brother. All right now. All right, keep your head up, brother. All right, you are, you a future king? That's right. You are you a king right now? That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. That's that's the spirit. That's the spirit of Israel. Even Israel in his lowest state. Israel understands what's going to happen. Right. Israel, Yasha Allah, he prints power. He he is a prince, he's a prince with God, yeah. Alright, and that's abs that's absolutely beautiful. Okay, um St. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man know not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Which that's the important part of prophecy is that once this uh uh, uh CHIP comes on the scene, game over. Anything can happen after that. At any at any time. Any second. Any second. You know, because it, it just like the, the Bible prophecies are shooting out the Bible like they just popping out. Like Both. like how you used to have them pop out books where it just pop out at Yeah. That's how these prophecies <laughs> do it. Most of it's working, baby. Kind of like Jake he love pop out books. I yeah. know I used to love pop out books. Yeah, it's it's a prophecy is that you got to you got to either be just a straight up demon if you don't see was about to come. <laughs> you exactly. got to be a straight up demon. Yeah, demon. You know? Damn and, and, demon. And, 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 and everything that's happening, look at the food. God. Look, the, over there, I was just, I sent a brother an article yesterday about a cloud that's coming down with toxic waste. Mm -hmm. They was running from one God. of the uh, uh, northern, uh, uh, the, uh, what is the, uh, the, uh, the other, uh, the Indian, they call them, what would they call them? Uh, Gadax? Yeah, the Gadax. They yeah. were running. The other tribes, see, yeah. You know all that uh, that uh, that uh, uh, witchcraftery and mm -hmm. and idol worshiping. Yep. Most I getting fed up, fed up with it. That's He's right. sending them plagues back on this earth again. That's right. And, and who could stand before the Most High? You should tremble in that day because you don't even know if you're going That's off right. on that. <laughs> Instead of being <laughs> proud and saying you want to yeah. see him, you don't want to see him. Hey, when we first came into this truth, we were like, man, I you know I got to get right because we can see. Even even back then, you know what I mean. We can see even back with you know. Uh, I, I'm saying way back then, just for context. You know what I mean. I haven't been in this truth no longer than about three years, four years, probably about three, three and a half years, maybe if I if I can if I can guess, maybe maybe three years. You know what I mean, of knowing that I'm an Israelite. From the first time we heard this, we were like, hey. This, this, this got some truth to it, you know? There was no bucking up or, oh, yeah, no, no, no. We were like, yeah, this this is making sense. And from the jump, you alienated from the jump. Your family is, is not going to be dealing with you like that, man. That's what Jake got to get through his head, man. We in exactly. random times, man. You got to, you got to, you know, you got to, like I said, I keep on going. It's just, you got to be diligent over the times that you're in. Of course, right. they ain't not gonna accept it. If they a Bible, if they if they if they a, a nomination, they not gonna accept it. Yep. You know, because you got them, them them church pastors telling you we we keep poach out stuff. Cause we saved through grace. Yep. Nah, it's going out. It's going out. It's going out. When it speaks about when it speaks about all things being clean, that's meaning that all things have its purpose. Turned the camera around, but they, they had all these yeah, yeah, They go. They go. You know. You know? Oh, and this uh, this goes into what you were speaking about uh, before the camera come on, came on. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So we doing the same thing. We signing the we signing the trumpet. Exactly. All right. Like the elder apostle, uh, uh, like elder apostle Cosmos saying, 
you niggas are like roaches. <laughs> that was the name of the that was the name of the video. You niggas are like roaches. Cause see when the light come on, the roach sit still. Maybe maybe if I sit still, he ain't gonna step on me. Hell no. Lord cut that light on real quick. Boom, you there. He gonna start stomping on you. When I even stop it, he gonna spray you. Right with it with that hot with that hot fire, man. It's gonna burn as an oven. We all we all have been burned by our oven, man. You gotta know what time it is. Yeah, Jake, Jake, Jake wanna ride on a Harley with his woman. He wanna go and get some, you know, go get some barbecue pork ribs, whatever the case is. Smoke a little weed. Yeah. You know. Oh, and just you know, live, live, you know, and ride, ride on a motorcycle, bearing his body. Yeah. Vans, no shirt on. You know. Nah. Face clean like a baby's yeah. butt. You know. Big, like just like Biggie, and ready to die. Exactly. Is ready to die at any point, and, and, and you know, it's just like, like you know, like, like you're saying the brother was saying about the roaches. Now, you got some that try to stand still, but if they in a bundle, they scatter, they scatter, they scatter, baby, they, they go, <laughs> they go, trying to hide. <laughs> and that's one more yet, that's gonna be on the day of the Lord. Y'all gonna the, be a whole bunch of roaches people, trying to hide when you when the people when you teach it and people walk by in a group. They trying to get the hell up out of there. But see, when they by themselves, they feel like, they, it's almost like they're more uh, 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 emboldened. When you're in a group, you're trying to leave because there's too many personalities. Okay, one person agrees, one person don't. When it's just one ignorant nigga, he coming, well, that, that spirit hop on him. That spirit of, I know more than you. Here it is, we laboring on the highways of Bible. You think we doing this for nothing? Like, we just don't know what we talking about? You know what I mean? That's where the scriptures uh, come into play. All right, this is St. Matthew, chapter 24, uh, continuing on, verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And it's not going to be with water. That's, that's, all, that's old news. The Lord is coming with fire. Yeah, you got to, you know, and that's how you clean something. That's how you mm -hmm. really clean something. Even if you take uh, copper and, and it got trash around it, what do you do to get it clean? You burn it. Yep. Then you take it to scrap to get the, the full worth out of it. And the scriptures talk about, right, taking the wheat and putting it in the barn. So what, what the Lord did when he flooded the earth, what did he do after that? He, he set up the seeds. Who he set up? He set up Adam and Eve. Right, those being the children of righteousness, which down the line, right, uh, through our facts said, down the line, going into uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, set up, uh, uh, set up the children of Israel. So the water came first, right? Water, you see, set the water down. Then he put the seeds out. Then he put some more water. All right. Now, okay, the, the all the uh, the wheat has growing up the wheat and the tares together. Now what's the Lord going to do? He's going to cut everything down, boom. And he's going to set this place ablaze. That's it. That's it. The Lord going to be out here with a sickle, man. And a big, a big ass sickle. This sickle may be the size, it may be 12 feet long. We don't know. The Lord may come and Yahweh Shai may come down and appear at, at 20 feet tall. We don't know. But what we do know is when he shows up, he's, he's going to show up. And being put to death by the Lord, that's dishonorable, man. Exactly. That's, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a horrific death. Like, it's, it's bad. It's, it's like, you know, very, very disgraceful. Because you ignorant ninjas don't want to repent and turn back to the God of our power. That's it. Easy. How do you repent? You confess it. You confess the Father, the Son. And you follow the statue and the commandments to your best abilities. Put down, put down the, the, the shank that you're using to eat that poach out with. That's it. You know, the strip. You know, messing with messing with Jake's wound. You know, uh, you know, uh, 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 putting put putting putting idols before the Most High. Meaning, you might not know you're doing it. If you putting your children, you idolizing your children, putting them before the Most High, you know, 
or, or, or your woman. And Jake got a bad problem with that, putting your woman before the most high. You know? That's what it is. Is that not the creator greater than everything? He can give you another woman. Way better. Yeah. <laughs> she listened. Now, of course, she going to start talking shit, too. <laughs> but, you know, the Lord is gonna, he, he's going to set that up in a certain way. All right? Um, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse... Verse 9, it says, And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them, and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Yahweh Shemayashai entered into them, and they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. So upon seeing that, hey, the Lord's going to be coming down. Hey, he's, he's going to make it happen, man. Yep. And simultaneously, this is what happens after that. And the same hour was there a great earthquake in the tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000. And the remnant were frightened and gave glory to the power of heaven. So we're going to be scared. Exactly. It's going to be like nobody, it's going to seem like nobody is going to, it's going to make it. Up until we get beamed up, Lord's will, we be uh, of that number. You sincere brothers out there are of that number. Right? And, and, and you sincere sisters also. You are going to be included in the one-thirds, not the 144,000, but the one-thirds be included in that you know ch children also you have certain children that may have watched these videos you know they're in bangladesh they believe they believe in this truth yet their parents you know their parents are like oh turn that off turn that garbage off you know i mean you don't know what you're talking about and they continue to watch they continue to watch the videos seven years old eight years old they don't have the ability to go out and teach but they have the ability uh, to believe you know what I mean? So you're not going to see them making videos. But there are children out here who are watching these videos, which that's really scaring Jake, is it? Well, uh, well, that's scaring Jake, but that's scaring E. Is that an Israelite foreigner who looks like a heathen is watching the videos and the, and the spirit is, is coming alive on him. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's scary to think about. Like Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee's an Israelite. Bruce Lee is an Israelite. He was doing things... You, you think some regular ass Moabite is doing two finger push ups? Got let, got the ladies all surrounded by him. He wearing shades. He got Adidas on. He, he, he can dance. He can act. These are these Israelite foreigners that are presenting themselves. These different guys, like uh, uh, like that basketball player Jeremy Lin. That he or or, or even I, I might go as far as to say Yao Ming. Nobody is going. Nobody is getting to these upper high levels of these different professions, right? And they're, and they're uh, 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 they're uh, 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 heathens like Robin Thicke, right? Robin Thicke is a, is a, is an Israelite, right? Will, uh, what's his name? Will Ferrell. That's a that's an Israelite. Okay. What's the guy who used to do the movies with uh with Richard Pryor? He was in uh, uh, um, he was in Willy Wonka in the, in the Chocolate Factory. Um, I'm forgetting his name. That's an Israelite. Okay? The list the list goes on and on, man. People that you would never expect to be the children of Israel is going to be shown who the children of Israel are. You're going to see all types of people getting beamed up. Mm -hmm. He going to look like a straight Moabite. Exactly. Getting beamed up. Or just like a, a, a Van Diesel. He's yeah. an Israelite. Yeah. He's an Israelite. Con, con. <laughs> Right? And you look at him, you're like, nah, that's a white. That's a white. Even, uh, what's his name? Paul Walker. That's an Israelite. That's an Israelite. You can, you can tell by, he, he got flavor, man. He got flavor. Uh, what's his name? Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah. He can, you know, he, he must be the. He must be the, he must be like a speckled bird third generation. Mm -hmm. He gas to be. Yeah. You know? Because when you look at him, he looks so pale. You know, the average person's like, no, he can't be an Israelite. But it's all through your father. So, he, so every, every single Israelite man within 
uh, uh, within his line to the guy with the so-called white woman, light-skinned woman. So these children are coming out bright, light bright. Yet you look at you look at the father's lineage, Israel. Exactly. That's that's the point that we at. That's what's getting revealed, and that's those are those people that are standing up upon their feet. That great you, army. Yeah, cause you got some tribes, a guy, guy, that look like they just straight. They look like they straight eat. Yeah, but they not. They not. They not. They, I'm, I'm, they look like straight. They look like a, a, friend, a friend of mine was dating one, and he was like, "Yeah, they probably think that she a, uh, uh, you know, she, you know, a e." But he said, "Nah, she, <laughs> she, she ain't. <laughs> she, she ain't. Yeah. You know, she looked it like one though. But she won. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's the time that we in, man. Let's see. Yeah, yeah I realized one thing about Jake. Jake like the." Pop. He like the bam, yeah. bam, bam. Everywhere he that's goes. That's right. Hey, that's the spirit of Barakah Yahweh Shemiah Hosea 1 and 10. Yet the number of it, Sakya. Let me start off from the top again. Hosea chapter 1 and verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. It was said here, it was said here that y'all are nothing but niggas, redskins, beaners, wet packs. It was said to us. Cookie. Yeah. Jigs. Right, if we want to go with the, with the 50 slang, a jig, a jigaboo. Right? Now what are we? We're the children of Israel. And you the heathen. How about that? Now, now the tides have turned. Now all of a sudden this, this book don't matter. Yeah, we got to get rid of it. Yeah, oh my God. We got to get rid of yeah, it. What's this, that about? Yeah, he, 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 uh, about a, a father having sex with his daughter and, mm -hmm. and just all type of stuff. Yeah, they making shit up. Exactly. They making shit up. Oh, y'all said this. Y'all said that. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Who said all that? Who said all that? Who said all these wild railing accusations? What are the accuser of our brethren? Right? The self, the self-proclaimed, y'all did that, the self-proclaimed white man. Y'all came up with that. We didn't come up with that. That was you. Okay? Yeah. Alright, so it says. Oh, here we go. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of Yahweh in the land, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out in blood touching blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive nor approve another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. All that, man, all that BS. All that exactly. BS. The Lord is knocking all that out of the way. Exactly. Okay? Um, reading on, it says, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. So as we're at our maximum uh, uh, peak of, of, of people. Exactly. We have billions and billions, billions and billions of people. We, we, hey, the Lord is like, all right, I've, I've made enough Israelites. I've made enough heathens. All right, prophecy coming to pass. You know, it's just like when, when you put a pizza in the oven. Hey, you look through the little thing. It's almost done. It's almost time done. Is yeah, time is up. Time is up. <laughs> time to open it, open it up, you know, get it popping, man. That's the time to win. It's like when you watch a movie, because I watch movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you watch a movie and when it's almost over with, you know. Yeah, oh, you know. You know. You know. <laughs> yeah, we coming up on the, on the end of this. Yeah, this movie almost over yeah. with. <laughs> you know, the plot start getting real thick. Yeah. You know, people start Stop dying. Start putting stuff together. Yeah. Putting the puzzle together. Oh, that. Yeah. I'm telling you. Uh, then, then it ends. That's 
it. It's a movie. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. But it's very spiritual because I think back to it sometimes. It came out uh, about five years ago. But you had all these people on the earth. Demons. <laughs> you had all these people on the earth, and then you had uh, these people who looked like every different color and every different shade. Their eyes uh, turned blue one day. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. You movie. Remember that movie? Yep, and, and they turn them all and had powers, and, and they had powers, yeah. And they, and each person was doing all types of stuff, and they were trying to get rid of them. That's the elect. Now they went off on the fact that you know it was women that was getting that, you know, had yeah, the powers. Twins, you know, twins with uh, blue, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes. And but but I will say this: that in the times prior prior to the Lord's return, you're gonna have certain miracles that are gonna happen. With women, you're gonna have women that are gonna they're gonna have their children with them, they're gonna be running from the enemy, they're gonna turn the corner, and the Lord is gonna send an angel to, to move them. To move them, take take them, put put them over here, set them right here. You know. They may shoot, they may shoot at the woman and her children, and the bullets go right through them. That's the son the, or, or that's that's a, a, a wife of the elect. So that so as long as you are deemed good. You got that mark of exemption. Hey, you go. Ultimately, you gonna be all right. That's why you women, you women need to get in line. Hey, and that's another thing through the spirit. Hey, you women, you not getting in line. The Lord is about to guess what the Lord about to do. The Lord is about to do away with your ass. He about to get you replaced. Exactly. He that's finished, it. You know, with with, you, with the, the job, the assignment that you was given, it comes great responsibility. Mm -hmm. And you know, and if you don't want it, he'll take it from you. That's right. He's going he to remove it, you know, because there's a lot of brothers that need wives. That's right. And as things continue to spiral and get worse and worse, you're going to have women whose husbands are, are going to die. So once your husband passes away, technically, if we get technical, you can, you can join into another man. So you're going to have, once people start dropping like flies, once the people start dropping like flies, that's when you're going to see uh, 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 that prophecy in Isaiah taking place. Right? About the seven women. Which has which you know, we're not worried about that. That's not what we that's not what we looking at. You know what I mean? Okay, getting all these women. That's just gonna be an added plus. You know, hey man, it's gonna if, if Lord's will it happens to the to, to our elder apostles. Lord's will when the chariot comes and picks them up, they sitting back, drinking wine and getting and getting their shoulders rubbed by some beautiful women. Now, knowing the Lord they may have to go through the worst, you know, possible things. They'll be uh, thrown before uh, members of the government, right, to give their testimony along with, you know, lower level brothers such as me. You know what I mean? Yeah, because uh, that, that's the spirit that just hit me. Uh, my wife was at work, brother, and she forgot to take lunch to work with and, and she was like, she hungry, and she called upon me to bring her something to eat. I said, yet yeah, what more? Why not humble yourself? Because the famine that, that's coming to this place is going to be worse than that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be worse than just you, 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 you've got your lunch box on that. It's going to the, it's gonna get to the point you're not going to be able to eat without that man. Exactly. That's the key thing. That's the spirit. Because that's, listen to what she called me. Mm -hmm. Con. <laughs> she can't call me. Con. <laughs> I mean, exactly. Exactly. But in this time, got females that they got 20 dudes in their phone and they just hit up any of them yeah they could they could write a facebook post who wanna who wanna buy me dinner you got 30 30 guys lined up the time of that is gonna be over with you go to a restaurant now either one you go to you know i don't really eat out much i, I cook i choose to cook you know prep my own food and stuff so but you go to a restaurant now Limited, the menu, the menu is limited to stuff that you can get, <laughs> you know, um, and, and things that, and then sometimes it's to the point where if you do go up there and it's still on the menu, but well, we're out, you know, and, and, and they just had on, they, they got the, you know, the, uh, 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 one of the uh, uh, agriculture, the guy of agriculture in the United States, I mean, we're going to face a food famine, you know, yeah. short of food. 
Well, right. more of it, you know. But this same, the same book right here, the same doctor in the same book says the same thing. But you that's take it. to take heed to That's it. That's it. And that's the time that we coming up into. We didn't see. We not. We not worried about what what this person saying. What that person said. What is the Lord talking about? What are, what are these these people got twenty thousand dollars in in, in in student loan debt. Five thousand dollars of credit card debt. You owe ten thousand on your car. You do one hundred and eighty thousand dollars deep in your mortgage. What what advice can you give to us? You're done. You toast. Exactly. It's over with. It's over with. So What's when the Lord talking when about? That, when that when that special uh that special gift come, yeah. you are gonna take it yeah. with obedience. That's it. That's it. That's what we got to that's call it, it, brother. Special gift. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> when that special gift come for you. <laughs> you gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna have to put your your knee. But yeah. my knee is a little sore. Yeah. I only bow to your howl by shim yeah, y'all That's right. That's right. Right. We not gonna bow to all like these people. You and you in so much debt. You gotta bow. You like shit. I, 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 Kids and how am I gonna keep my house? And a, that's where the chip come into play. You gonna want you you're gonna want to get uh, uh, branded, which I made like a video uh, a few days ago uh, speaking uh, about that wallet more. Now when you go on YouTube and you type in wallet more, that thing that was on uh, 60 Minutes, there's only 300 subscribers. So they keeping that on the on the hush. Yeah, cause that that but that, it's crazy. You gotta realize, uh, Bo Devil just signed a executive order <laughs> Bo Devil. To, to, to to execute a digital currency. That nigga. Uh huh. And and, and I, I need to uh, give you the link to that, brother. But it's a it's a it is a patent that is owned uh, by uh, 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 Bill uh, Billy Old Billy Boy, and the the patent number is. Zero six, it's it's zero six zero six zero six, and it, it talks about a uh, well, well, Billy Boy brother, not trying to cut you off. Billy Boy on just about eighty percent of the farmland in the United uh, States. Uh, so he gonna be he gonna break he gonna break you down. He gonna get he gonna he gonna bust your kneecaps out. You gonna have to bow, and then guess what he gonna do? He gonna put that MOTP. In your head, and like the and like the uh, the elder brother out there in South Carolina say, the elder man out there, it don't matter if you give your left hand, your butt cheek, your forehead, your toe. <laughs> yeah, it's still and there. You, it's still there. We we in that time, man. We in that time, and every time the word come out, that's when the demons, the demons start getting riled up. You know, the exactly. demons start hitting niggas popping wheelies. Exactly. This dude popping a wheelie on the highway. You out Just your no care in the world going on like in the days of Noah. Yeah. Until you get taken. You doing what you want. Now there was two young Israelite women had to be made by.